What's up, my fellow patriots of the Trump Fan Network community? My name is Andrew Sosa, a.k.a. Sosa Potence 300. I have become an official sponsor of this channel, especially since the last one got deleted. YouTube is absolutely traitorous for that. But if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would highly appreciate it. When you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and select the All feature. And when you share this video around, tell them to do the exact same thing. I do movie reviews, I do fiction content, and soon, once I reach 1,000 subscribers... With y'all's help especially, I will start doing pro-Trump content, all right? So please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. All feature, like I said before, and follow me on all my other social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, different things like that. And remember, by supporting me, you are also supporting channels like the Trump Fan Network. Without further ado, let's get to this video. Unlike Donald Trump, I will not turn our great country into the prostitute of Saudi Arabia. Because it's America first for me. It's all about America first. We're not going to give up hundreds of billions of dollars in orders and let Russia, China, and everybody else have them. It's all about, for me, very simple. It's America first. Uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, if we broke with them, I think your oil prices would go through the roof. I've kept them down. They've helped me keep them down. Right now, we have low oil prices, or relatively, I'd like to see it go down even lower. lower. But I think that... It's a very simple equation for me. I'm about make America great again, and I'm about America first. The, the problem is that this current president is continuing to betray us. We were supposed to be going after Al Qaeda, but over years now, not only have we not gone after Al Qaeda, who is stronger today than they were in 9-11, our president is supporting Al Qaeda. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> U.S. military officials say more than 70 Taliban leaders have been killed in the past week in southern Afghanistan's Helmand province. President Trump has signed a full pardon for a former U.S. soldier convicted of murder. A military court sentenced former Army First Lieutenant Michael Behenna to 25 years in prison in 2009 for killing a suspected al-Qaeda terrorist while deployed in Iraq. Behenna claims he acted in self-defense. I know this, it's not easy for you, a fellow Democrat, to criticize uh, as strongly as you have criticized the president for refusing to use those words. Uh. And I think one of the things that is important to note is that the administration is misidentifying the enemy and their motivation by saying that they're motivated out of materialistic um, uh, aspirations, that you look at what's being proposed with Syria. In each of these different in instances, a dictator has been removed. There has been an attempt to institute a Western-style democracy, and in each of these cases, ISIS and Islamic extremists are more powerful and presenting a greater threat than they did before. The, the problem is that this current president is continuing to betray us. Not only have we not gone after al-Qaeda, who is stronger today than they were in 9-11, our president is supporting al-Qaeda. This is not just about one group called ISIS or another group called al-Qaeda. This is about an overall threat posed by this radical Islamic extremist agenda. But unless and until you recognize who our enemy is and understand them, then we won't be effective in defeating that threat. And we're going to continue to see the kinds of tragic incidences that we've seen uh, most recently in Paris. In a lengthy statement, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard defended her decision to meet with the president-elect at Trump Tower in New York City on Monday. While the rules of political expediency would say I should have refused to meet with President-elect Trump, I never have and never will play politics with American and Syrian lives. She says Trump asked to meet and discuss current policies about Syria, but she says she won't hesitate to disagree with Trump. Gabbard says, I believe we can disagree even strongly, but still come together on issues that matter to the American people and affect their daily lives. She has been uh, associated with several foreign policy positions that are very similar to the ones that Donald Trump has had. Trump has again proven that he is the servant of Saudi Arabia, the theocratic dictatorship that spends billions of dollars every single year spreading the most extreme and intolerant form of Islam around the world. You stupid. Our president is supporting Al-Qaeda. You can't fix stupid. His name, Qasim al rimi the head of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, considered the third most dangerous terrorist in the world. The mission, capture or kill him.
I think it is, um, it is, it is a successful operation by, by all standards. Officials tell NBC News Mr. Trump, Secretary of Defense, and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff called the potential capture of El Rimi a game changer. In making their case to proceed, they told President Trump they doubted the Obama administration would have been bold enough to try it. The operation was larger than any counterterrorism strike since the killing of Osama bin Laden. But unfortunately, Trump is more interested in pleasing the Saudis than doing what's right. According to the UN, Al Qaeda's chief bomb maker was killed during a U.S. drone strike late last year. Ibrahim Hassan Al Asiri is his name. If this is the first you heard of this, it's because to the media, tax returns are more important than terror. A true irony. The Trump administration has been so good at killing terrorists that the media can focus that much more on hating the Trump administration. <laughs> but this progress shouldn't be much comfort. What was Al Asiri known for? the marriage of technology and terror. He was the Thomas Edison of mayhem, bombs hidden in printer cartridges and electronics that could sneak by scanners and dogs, non-metallic suicide vests, underwear bombs, remember those? He didn't just design them, he also trained other designers who are still alive and ticking. Trump says we will never forget 9-11, yet it is Trump who has been acting as Al Qaeda's big brother and protector in Syria and who's turned our country into the prostitute of Al Qaeda's biggest supporter, the Saudis. You know, if, that's, I heard about this. That gotta be the most ignorant thing I've ever heard. A former Obama administration official says attacking this terror organization is the right move. It would be good news if the Trump administration continues to go after this group. The urgency elevated by fear. Al Qaeda in Yemen, known as AQAP, may be planning direct attacks against the U.S., according to a defense official. The group, considered one of the top threats to the U.S. homeland, has gained strength during the turmoil of the ongoing civil war. The Obama administration knowingly gave U.S. taxpayer dollars to an Al Qaeda affiliate in Sudan, accused of giving direct financial support to Osama bin Laden and labeled the former affiliate of Maktab al Khidamat, the precursor of Al Qaeda. Isra, also accused of serving as a funding conduit for Hamas, raising money for terror attacks in Israel. Check the U.S. sanctions list and the Islamic Relief Agency is there. Accused 9-11 recruiter Mohammed Haydar Zamar captured in northern Syria. So is this more proof that President Trump's strategy to take on terror is working? Two days ago, President Trump and Vice President Pence delivered solemn speeches about the attacks on 9-11, talking about how much they care about the victims of Al-Qaeda's attack on our country. But they're now standing up to protect the 20 to 40,000 Al-Qaeda and other jihadist forces in Syria. So how did we find him? What went down? Well, uh, originally the, the, the French uh, uh, agency or the French press agency reported that he was captured uh, in Syria. And the reason why he was captured was because President Trump continues to press forward special operations in Syria. We've been there for, for the last couple of years. And in the last year in particular, we've gotten much more aggressive. And since this guy was captured, here it is, he's in his mid-50s. He's, he's, he's one of the original uh, recruiters for the 9-11 terror. So this is a significant uh, this is a significant operation, both in terms of uh, being able to close the door on that devastating attack on 9-11, but it also shows um, which uh, the, the continued failed policy of, of, of Merkel in Germany. Uh, Threatening Russia, Syria and Iran with military force if they dare attack these terrorists. Uh, uh, but the good news is that we're there and we're, and we're in aggressive forward operations on the Syrian front. And this is going to ultimately affect our national security by reducing future attacks to us here in America. And I wanted to so ask President you Trump about is doing the right thing. For the president, who's commander in chief, to act as the protective big brother of Al Qaeda and other jihadists must be condemned by every member of Congress. Stupid is forever. I am your voice.